So I'm going to show you how to make a procedure first. Now, if you go on to create replit and Python, that bit's just standard, and that will get you your standard Python program set up. Now, we know that a procedure is a set of steps, all right? So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to define it. Remember, I said define function. I'm going to give it a name, and I'm just going to call it my menu, okay? Now, at that point, I've got my menu, and all it's going to do is go print one uh, save game, all right? Print two uh, exit game, print three. Oops, if I can, uh, we're going to say restart game. Uh, we might even have a pause option, all right? So if they say number four, pause game, all right? Now, the other thing is, because I'm doing a user interface, I might decide that I'm going to do stars there, all right? And here, I'm going to do the next line, print. And those are those stars. Now, if I was to run this program at the moment, what do we think would happen? Why nothing? Exactly that. All right. You need to actually tell the program that you want to use that menu. So all I need to do there is go my menu. Now it's going to go straight to that and run that. But I might want to run that menu twice. I might want to use it again. All right. Oh, nobody clocked my spelling mistake there. <laughs> All right. So if I run that again, you see I've reused it. All right. Now, those of you, there may be some of you that want to really extend yourselves with this. Now, that's what we call a function, and I can reuse it. But what I can actually do, all right, this is the, the cool thing, is watch, I can say here, uh, name equals... Uh, input what is your name all right and i want my menu to greet the person all right so i'm going to pass in something called a parameter all right now here i'm going to say name so i pass that in so that is whatever's typed in when i call that function the next time when i call that procedure sorry what i can do is i can say print welcome to the program plus name so that's been passed into the procedure so if i run that now let's see if it works you can pass data into your function so it might be how many shoelaces do you have so you pass the number two in and you can do something with that let's do it one more program all right <laughs> this i'm going to change this program up now in fact i'm going to write another another one i'm going to go uh addition all right and um, we're going to say uh number one number two you can pass multiple parameters in all right total equals number one plus number two and what i can do is print total now if i wanted to i could then say number one equals int input please type in number one number two equals int input so i'm using casting here all right and then i'm going to say print the total of those numbers will be addition number one number two let's see if it works so it's going to do the first it's going to do the main menu first where it's going to ask my name It says type in a number, four, five, total of those numbers will be nine. Because what I've done at this point is I've passed in parameter one, I've passed in parameter two, 
I've added those together there and I've printed out the total. All right. So what I've done here is I've got a separate, I've got my procedure for getting the name and loading up that menu, but I then got the input and remember the techniques called casting when you change the data type. I've changed the data type to a number here so I can add them together. I've said the total of those numbers will be. Now, is there somewhere else where I could put that? Yeah? Yeah, there's nothing stopping me from putting it in there, really. Yeah? So that is simple procedures. There is something called a function, which I may go over with you at another point in time, which returns a number instead. But that will just start one step at a time first. If you understand how a procedure works, if you understand that, that's going to really help you if you move on to GCSE. So we're going to stop that recording. We're going to upload that.